Now has Bright Sol fulfilled his circling course, again to Taurus rolled his burning car, sense, cruel prudence, thy resistless force tore me from happiness and Cynthia far how did I then, or pensively complain, or in the maniac's frantic accents rave how often vow to prove resistance vain, and, spite of prudence, live my Cynthia's slave her much loved form did every thought employ, my daily wish she was, and nightly dream, my a king bosom hopped no dearer joy, my raptured fancy owned no nobler theme, no more I wished, where ice's clear waves flow, to pluck fresh laurels from the muse's shade I longed to climb the Cambrian mountain's brow, since Cambria's mountains hid my favorite maid in vain from cruel love's tyranny grain to friendship and to wisdom I appeal, for such my sufferings, that the amorous pain nor wisdom could assuage nor friendship heal now three revolving moons had rolled away, still faded sorrow bent my drooping head, in slothful rest my nobler passions lay, each fire extinguished, and each virtue dead when forced to seek a more laborious field, and mingle cheerful with a social train, to toil and mirth those woes began to yield, which thought and care had combated in vain. In other scenes I now delight could find, and, far from Cynthia, found my heart at rest, till love at length the dubious strife declined, and reason fixed her empire in my breast then, as by sacred truth's unflattering light, I saw the follies of my former flame, I turned indignant from the hateful sight, struck with remorse, and mortified with shame I found imagination's magic wand had all my Cynthia's dazzling charms supplied, and love, misjudging love, with partial hand, had given those beauties nature's touch denied. A visionary shape my fancy drew, in the fair form each polished grace displayed, then like the fabled artist amorous grew, and loved the image which itself had made.